hey y'all and welcome back it's been a long time i know but we're back i think i'm gonna start recording two videos at one time so that way i can keep my videos rolling and get content pushed out to y'all also, if you're new here, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video and sticking with me through this whole process. So today's video is going to be on healing your inner child and what even inner child is. When we're moving through life, when we're going through life, we become adults, right? We get grown, we start having responsibilities, bills gotta be paid, and we might do things for money, we might do whatever job that we can get, um, especially during these hard times. I know it's not always easy to work where we wanna work or do something that will make us happy. Lately, I've been seeing a lot as far as what do I do? How do I find my purpose? What is my purpose? I don't even feel like I have a purpose. I'm here to tell you that the real purpose is to just be happy, to find peace. When you find that, everything is gonna realign. And inner child work is really you just reconnecting with the inner child that you once were and still can be. Like, it's never too late to have a happy childhood. I don't care what nobody says. We might have certain belief systems that are implemented in our heads when we're a child and we didn't get to do things that we really wanted to do and, and be happy, be fully happy. And what you will find is that the reason why people can't be happy or in this present state is that they're revisiting that past and they're reminiscing on things like, man, I used to do this or man, I used to do that. In reality, you still can. There is a lot of things that I still do. I still watch cartoons. I do inner child work every day. I wake up, I dance, I sing. I had a very creative childhood. I made a lot of things. I danced, I sung to everybody. I sung to my mom, I sung to my sister. I did so many things that I still do to this day. I still sing to Josh. I still sing every morning I wake up. You don't have to lose that connection with that inner child, that, that past childhood. What will really happen is that we get so disconnected is it's really hard to figure out what it is that we want to do or what it is that does make us happy. It's really hard to figure out what does make us happy or what things that we once found joy in. This whole week on my Instagram, I kind of been posting what is inner child work, how to do it, how do you know that you need it? The minute I knew I needed it personally, cause I like to be personal here and transparent, I was very, I had a feeling of emptiness. I just had this grand feeling of emptiness. I didn't know what it was and I tried to fulfill mine with materialistic things. So like, Chanel, Dior, Louis Vuitton, going here, shopping, spending this money and filling that void, that, that feeling of emptiness that I had within inside of, um, inside of me. In reality, that was a void that I was trying to fill where my childhood wasn't completely fulfilled. And it was really hard. I had to do a lot of journaling. I had to do a lot of meditating. But what I eventually found is that I need to get back to my old self. I used to love to read. I used to love to draw. I used to love being, being creative. And I feel like me walking into the light of my business and being creative almost literally every day, thinking of new products, thinking of new ways to you know, promo my business. That's being creative. Every morning I wake up and say, what can I do to be creative? What can I do to tap into my inner child? And I feel like a lot of people, they just kind of lose that a little bit. Honestly, I feel like moving through life as an adult, like what even is an adult? That's something that we have socially constructed. They have socially constructed. And now we have picked up on those social constructs and we feel like, oh, we gotta work a nine to five. We got, you don't have to do any of that, baby. You're here. I'm telling you, listen to me, you're here to be happy and be at peace. Cause once you find that everything will align. The minute you start looking outwardly to fulfill yourself, that's not the right answer. You gotta look inside. And I know it's not easy. I'm not here to tell nobody it's easy. It's very, it's very difficult. It's gonna be challenging. You gotta be consistent with what it is that you really want in this lifetime. And I feel like a lot of times we get so strung on, on the whole idea of getting a job and once I once I get this thing I'll be happy once I get this house once I get this car but in reality we got to find it first we got to tap into that inner child make that inner child happy because a lot of times I feel like we're these big kids that are living with these voids or we're living with these um, feelings of emptiness or these unmet emotions simply because 
of certain things in our childhood that we neglected or our parents might have neglected. There was a lot of wounds that I had to attend to that I didn't necessarily get the right treatment from that when I was younger. So I had to attend to it myself. I had to become my own mother and my own father. It's a lot, it's hard, but you can do it. You can fulfill your childhood so that way you can have, you can still have that happy childhood. You don't have to write that story and say, oh, my childhood was this, my childhood was X, Y, Z. And it never really clicked with me until this past Christmas because my Christmases growing up, we didn't decorate trees, we didn't take pictures, we didn't do none of that. So in my head, I'm thinking I still gotta follow that. So I'm talking to Josh, my boyfriend, he's telling me, you know, you don't have to do that anymore. Just because you did that in your childhood, that don't mean we still gotta do it. If you wanna change it, you, could, you have the power to change whatever it is, and that's so true. I hated how true it was, but it was so true, and I couldn't override it. You know, it, it was something that I decided to implement into my adulthood because I didn't get to do it during childhood. So it's like I'm still making that happy childhood in a way because now I can fully do it as an adult. It's a lot, it's a lot. This video is, you know, something that has been weighing heavy on my heart. Revisit my Instagram. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to DM me, comment, YouTube comments. Please be sure to share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. If y'all haven't already, please be sure to check out V's and Gems. I do make crystal necklaces, handmade, made to order as well, wrapped with love, as always. I'm also working on different products. I just released a healing oil, so check that out. And thank you so much, guys, for watching my video. I will see you guys next time. Stay lifted, loves, and I will see you next time. Bye. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know.